Hey, what's up? This is Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. This is my weekly video blog called Bullheaded, a review of the Houston Texans news, as well as a preview of the upcoming game matchups. Now, this week's message is going to be a title related to something we've been going through all season, as well as something we're probably going to feel uh, after this Sunday's game. It's called This Gonna Hurt. So what I mean when I say this gonna hurt is that Sunday, when we'll likely get a win over the San Francisco 49ers, it's probably going to hurt. <laughs> and um, the reason I say that is because, you know, it seems like this was a team early on, you know, after that week one game that was kind of destined for a little bit more um, than what we were expecting. And actually, I don't know if there were a lot of expectations uh, for this team this season. And especially after, you know, the Jacksonville loss where it seemed like our old line was just completely horrible. Um, you know, a lot of people probably didn't see us even getting to four wins. So, um, but after that, you know, the whole Deshaun Watson thing came in and, you know, he came and gone with his injury. Um, it You kind of got the feeling like, you know, with Watson coming in, that is like, you know, we could have been like, you know, really – something this season, you know, it really could have been in the mix of something. So I know Sunday, we're probably going to win against the San Francisco 49ers. And when we get that win, it's like, this hurts, you know, because <laughs> it doesn't really mean nothing. Um, basically, like both teams are essentially like out of the playoffs right now. And, you know, it just seems like, you know, if it hadn't had it not been for all these, not just with Watson, but you know what? Actually, he's part of the reason, but only because it's like, you know, because of his injury. Um, and not just hit, when I mean, what I really want to say is like, not just his injury, but Watt's injury, merciless, merciless injury, um, freaking, uh, who am I forgetting right now? Uh, Kevin Johnson's injury here and there. Um, you know, just different injuries, you know, all on both sides of the book on both sides of the ball. And it's just a hard thing to just, you know, really overcome. I I mean, even in the game Sunday, like, dudes was getting just knocked around, you know. <laughs> and it was crazy. It was like everybody just kept getting into some type of ailment. So um, definitely uh, injuries have been, like, one of those things that have, we've just been fighting, you know, just trying to play through. And, hell, you know, it, not only has it hurt our players, it's – it's hurt our season, obviously. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you just, when you think about it, you just sit back and you look like, you know, what would this win have meant? Especially coming against, like, probably our easiest opponent of the year. Um, this couldn't have came at a, if we were in a playoff hunt, this probably couldn't have came at, like, a better time. Like, coming off a game against Tennessee, who would be in a playoff hunt as well. And also against, uh, going into a game against Jacksonville and Pittsburgh, you know, in the next two weeks, this win would be like, yo, we needed this. Let's go in, get our confidence up and, you know, let's handle our business the rest, the rest of the way out. But now it's like, uh, let's get this win. Let's see what Brian Cushing can do when he returns to the lineup. Uh, let's see what we got in the cupboard and, you know, let's just finish this thing on out, you know? So, I mean, it's definitely going to hurt. Um, come Sunday when we beat the San Francisco 49ers, um, just thinking about all that we could have done um, or, you know, what all that could have, not so much that we could have done, but all that could have went right for us. Um, that could have went in our favor. Uh, that just would have you know, carried us over the hump. So with that being said, um, how do we get a win over the San Francisco 49ers? I mean, basically, the Niners are in the same predicament win, uh, probably a little bit worse. Um, they're out of the playoffs. They're 2-10. Um, right now, they might have their star quarterback of the future in uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, who they just traded for, like, uh, at the deadline, actually. So, you know, he's been there a couple weeks um, trying to, you know, get the offense down. Probably got it down. I think it's been, like, six weeks, if I'm not mistaken. I think the deadline was on week eight, but um, – so, yeah, uh, one of the main things that the 49ers, probably their main project right now, you know, or main purpose in this game, is just getting Jimmy Garoppolo's feet wet. So the whole offense is probably going to be centered around, 
you know, Garoppolo and just getting him comfortable, you know, getting him in rhythm, getting him familiar with, you know, certain throws within the system or whatever. So definitely I think our main thing needs to be, you know, just trying to disrupt that. Um, just, you know, knock him off his learning curve a little bit. Um, I mean, hell, we're not that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we play uh, the 49ers every, what, three or four years. So, yeah, it's not going to hurt us in the long run. But, I mean, hey, we're not here to <laughs> make sure he um, pulls up on us and just, you know, has a career day on us. So, um, definitely um, just uh, disrupting that and just shutting that down completely. Um, really, it's the only thing that they have. Like, 49ers are – near the bottom in offense, uh, near the bottom in defense. Um, as far as, like, on the defensive side, they don't really get a lot of sacks. I think they only get, like, 22 sacks on the whole season. So they don't really put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. So I definitely think our O-line is going to have a great day against this defensive line uh, or the so-called feared uh, San Francisco defense that everybody, a lot of people have been bragging about. So, um Definitely, uh, those are going to be the keys. Um, if they can just, if the O line can just do their job at protecting uh, Savage and just opening up some holes for the run, because they have to improve on the run this week, way better than last week. But uh, definitely, uh, they do that as well as if the defense can just, you know, um, try to shut down Jimmy Garoppolo on whatever little that he has learned. Then, uh, you know, we're definitely to get a. Definitely going to get a W, uh, put a little shine to a season that has been pretty hurt. So, with that being said, I'm Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. I holla.